What's up my friends, welcome back. Ok, so we had a lot of radio controllers on this channel. We've made like 5 or 6 radio controllers. So we used the NRF24 radio modules, we used the HC12 radio modules and also these very cheap 433 MHz radio modules and so on. But this was always part from a bigger project. So it was very difficult for you to understand only how the radio module works. And that's because we always had a lot of more connections. Because we had the battery charging circuit, we have more push buttons, the joysticks, the potentiometers and so on. So what I want today is to talk about the specification of these radio modules and show you just a simple example with each and show how it works and nothing more. So this will go like this. If you go below this video you'll find an example code and also an example schematic, very simple schematic for each of these radio modules. And first I will tell you some information about the module and then we'll make a very simple example and a connection between two Arduinos. For example, we will push a button in one side and turn on an LED on the other side or maybe use a potentiometer to dim the light. In this way the connection will be very simple. The code and the schematic will be very simple and we will have less errors. And once you know how to send a simple data, you will be able to make your radio controller just by adding more buttons, more potentiometers, maybe a display and so on. Or maybe just send data around your house using the radio connection. Or you could make a weather station and stuff like that. Ok guys, so first we'll look at the NRF24 radio module very fast because we already seen this a bunch of times. We will also test the LoRa module, which is a module that I bought recently so I haven't tested too much. Then we'll have the HC12 radio module which is very easy to use, just a zero communication between two Arduinos. I've also bought some CC1101 radio modules so we will also test those out and we'll also make a simple connection with those 433 MHz radio modules. And finally we'll also look at the Bluetooth modules, because believe it or not, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are still radio connections. So guys, let's start with this video, but before we start, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell, because otherwise you might miss my videos when I post them. Also, a huge thank you to all my patrons for the support. So, let's get started. Video sponsored by JLC PCB. They have a new PCB batch production factory. More than 10,000 orders per day and 600,000 customers worldwide and now offering the best prices. Ordering PCBs is very easy. Upload the Gerbers, select your settings and order PCBs for just $2. What's up my friends, welcome back. We start this video with the well-known Unref 24 radio module. I've used this module for years, but it had some bad parts as well, so let me tell you a little bit about this module. You could get this with the PCB antenna, which basically means that it has a small wire on the PCB and that will be the antenna. But in this case you could also find the SMD version for the same module. And this is a lot smaller and you could solder this directly to the PCB. I've used this very small module for my last brush drone project. But if you want to send the data to a longer range, you might need to buy the module with the amplified antenna. This module uses the same radio chip, but it also has an amplifier onto the board and also has this antenna. The module has 8 pins, and those are for power, ground and external interruptions and 5 more pins for the SPA serial communication. And for that we need the chip enable, the chipset, the MOSI and MISO and the clock pins. Having an SPA communication makes this module very fast. Usually SPA is a lot faster than I2C or wired communications, so that's a plus for this module. But at the same time this module needs a lot more pins. So if you are short of pins, you might consider a module that uses wired or I2C that only needs one or two connections. With this module I was able to send the data with good connection up to 700 meters using my Arduino based radio controller from my previous videos. The only thing I don't like about this module is that it seems to be quite sensible to noise. If I use some long wires between the Arduino and the module, I almost never be able to get a good connection. I also have to wind the ground around the MOSI and the MISO pins in order to reduce the noise for the SPA communication. So it's not the radio connection that is sensible to noise, it's the SPA communication between the module and the microcontroller. For my projects when I design a board I usually add short tracks. I remove the other planes from below or above these tracks, I add capacitors at the input, 
I place it on the outside of the board and I also try to place it far from the DC motors or power converters and so on. And that's another thing I don't like. This module works at 3.3 volts. The Arduino usually has a 3.3 volt supply, but for example with the Arduino Nano I always had problems using the onboard regulator. It doesn't have enough current output, so I always had to add an external 3.3 volts voltage regulator. You could use the same module as receiver or transmitter or even place them in a constellation and make them talk one to each other. Ok, so now connect these modules to the Arduinos as in the schematic and download the NREF24 example code from below. You have the receiver and the transmitter example code. So upload the transmitter code to the Arduino with the potentiometer and the receiver code to the Arduino with the LED. So as you can see I rotate the potentiometer on one side and I change the brightness of the LED on the other side. Read the comments in the code as always in order to understand more and you will see how easy it is to use these modules with the NREF24 library that you could also download from below. And finally the price for these modules is around $2 on eBay. Make sure you won't buy this copy of this module. I've tried this with the same library and they don't work. Even if the eBay NRF24 modules are a Chinese copy, they will work ok if you buy these ones. Ok guys, now let's see the HC12 radio module. This one is capable of making a long range wireless communication between multiple Arduino boards, with distances up to 1.8 km. So first let's take a closer look at the HC12 wireless communication module and for that here are some specifications. The operating voltage for this module is from 3.2 volts up to 5 volts and for a more stable work it is recommended to use a decoupling capacitator and an external power supply. But for today's example I will use the PCUSB as a power supply and I had no problems. The working frequency is between 433 and 473 MHz and that could be divided in 100 channels, each with 400 kHz steps in between. The maximum operating current is 100 mA. In order to use it we have a watt serial communication. The factory bout rate of this serial communication is 9600 bouts per second, but you could increase that up to 115200 bouts. To configure this module you will have to use the 80 commands and change the bout rate, change the channel from 1 to 100 or you could change the transmission mode and more. Here we have a table with all the 80 commands for this module. Ok, so connect these modules to the Arduinos as in the schematic. The code is more than simple, since all we have to do is to use the serial communication just as we were to print the values onto the serial monitor of the Arduino. So download the code from below and the name for that will be HC12 example for receiver and transmitter. Once again upload the transmitter code to the Arduino with the potentiometer and the other code to the one with the LED and as you can see I can set the analog value to control the brightness of the LED using the radio connection. So why you should use this instead of the NRF24? Well first of all the NRF24 won't be able to work up to 1 km or more, but at the same time the HC12 will be slower when sending data, so if you want a fast control like for example for a drone, the NRF24 module will be better. Also needing only 2 wires to control these modules, using the serial communication and no needed library makes this very easy to work with. Finally the price for this module is around 4 and 5 dollars. So this is a little bit more expensive than the NRF24. Ok guys, now let's take a look at the LoRa module. As I said before, I've used this module for a very short time. LoRa is robust, it's low power, long range wireless protocol developed by Semtech. It could operate at 433 MHz or 950 MHz. According to its datasheet it could get up to 6 km. And I say according to the datasheet because I haven't made any range tests and I only use this module below 100 meters but I never had problems with it. I'm using the LoRa module with the SX1278 chip, which is this tiny SMD IC. And we have to add this antenna designed for 433 MHz as well to the antenna port. The price on eBay for this module is around $4 as well and the module will also include the antenna. To communicate with this module we will use once again an SPA communication, but this time we need a few more pins. Again we need the MISO and MOSI pins, the clock but we also have a reset pin, enable, data input and output, ground and 3.3 volts. In this case even if it uses a 3.3 volts input, the module has low power and it work ok with the Arduino Nano till now. 
so I first solder wires and pins to both modules in order to be able to use this on the breadboard. Now I make all the connections to the Arduino as in the schematic. And once again I say that these are a lot of connections compared with the HC12. So download the examples from below, with the name of LoRa Example Transmitter and Receiver, and upload those to the Arduinos. Add the potentiometer and the LED and test if it works, and as you can see again, I can send the analog data using the radio connection. To use this module you will need the LoRa library, that you could also download from below and install that to the Arduino IDE. Use the library functions to send or receive data and that's it. Read the comments in the code for more. So you should use this module in case that you want a very long range connection, as far as 5 km. Also if you need a low power connection, in case that you're using batteries. You need a lot of pins but the range is great, and again the speed is a lot lower than the NRF24. With a delay of 100 milliseconds between each send packet, sometimes I had some skip values, so be careful. Ok guys, now let's move to the CC1101 radio module. There are different modules with different frequencies. The most popular and the most used band is the 70cm band. Again, the module will be used with an SPA interface. You might find that the module cannot be connected directly to the SPA pins because of the 3.3V operating voltage. And basically that is true, however, during my test, I've used this with my Arduino and I had no problems. It has a maximum operating speed of 500 kilobits per second, and according to the user manual, it could send the data up to 500 meters, but that depending to the environment, the antenna and the baud rate. There are also some small power amplifiers that you could use to increase the transmission power up to 5 watts. With power amplifiers you could get up to 15 kilometers, and that's according to some internet posts that I found. For this module you will need the CC1101 library that you could also find below. Make the connections for the modules as in the schematic. For breadboard connections you will need these jumpers that I've made using some female and male pins. Download the example code from below and upload those to the Arduino. You have the transmitter and receiver examples, and again, the transmission is working, and I can control the LED using the radio connection. But these modules could be both transmitter and receivers, and that could be changed in the code, so I've made another small example that you could download from below. This will make a small chat between the modules, and that's for any amount of modules. So just upload the same code to both Arduinos and open the serial monitor. Now insert your name and start the chat. You could use this to create a chat with your neighbors. Ok, finally you could buy this module for around 6 or 7 dollars from eBay, so this is a little bit more expensive. The range is not that good, it uses a lot of pins for the SPA connection and is not ultra low power neither. Ok guys, now we have this very cheap module that works at 433 MHz or sometimes 415 MHz. The range will depend on the voltage connected to the module, but also the antenna that we use. At 5V and with the stack antenna of this module, the range will be around 2 meters. But supply the transmitter at 12V and with a small copper antenna, the outer range could reach up to 300 meters. Now the bad thing about these modules is that the communication is simplex, single and unidirectional channel, and they have a low transmission speed, around 2400 bps. It basically works by ASK modulation, amplitude shift keying. They don't have a filter or hardware ID, so if you want a robust communication, we have to implement that by software. The connection is very simple. First we power the module by connecting VCC and ground at 5V and ground from the Arduino. As you'll see in the code, we will have to use the virtual wire library, which will work with any digital pin. So simply connect the data pin to any digital pin from the Arduino as in the schematic. Go below and download the example codes from transmitter and receiver with the name of 433MHz example. Upload the codes to the Arduino and give it a test, and once again we can control the LED. Now this is a good module because it's very simple and very cheap. Maybe by using different transistors we could increase the range which is quite low. You also need two transmitters and two receivers in case that you want a two-way connection but you could buy 5 pairs of these modules from eBay for just 4 dollars or less. These small radio modules are good for short range projects, such as temperature monitoring around the house, open your garage doors and so on. 
Ok guys, so finally we have the HC05 or the HC06 Bluetooth modules. We've used these modules a lot as well in many projects. You could use these modules with each other or connect your Arduino to a smartphone. You could configure the settings with 80 commands once again and the module is using a wired serial communication with just two pins, RX and TX. And here we have a table with all the 80 commands for these modules. It could be supplied at 5 volts, but the digital pin would work at 3.3 volts. The default baud rate is 9600 and by default the module is configured as a slave. Since we have the RX and TX pins, we could receive and send data with the same module. This is like having a serial connection between two Arduinos and all you have to do is to use the serial write and the serial read functions in the Arduino code. The device will have an output power of 2.5 mW and a range of about 10 meters. The good part about these modules is that they use Bluetooth and that is compatible with our smartphones and you could use it as a transmitter or receiver. They are easy to use with just two wires and using the serial communication in the Arduino code. And yes, the range is not very long. You could buy one of these for around $4 on eBay. So guys, these were all the radio modules for this video. If you have any suggestion for a different module, leave a comment below. So which one you will use for a next project? Read all the comments for each code, see all the schematics and read all the details on my webpage electronews.com for more. I hope that now you will know how to use each of these modules and create your own radio controllers or any other radio based project. If you like this video consider subscribing and please make sure that you activate the notification bell because otherwise you won't receive notifications when I upload a new video. And also consider supporting my work on Patreon. So thanks again and see you later guys.